The depth of hatred directed at men in the media is truly astounding. Even in 2009, during a global economic recession, women are apparently the most affected. But can this really be true? Hello, I'm Mary Honeywell. I'm a British MEP. I'm from London. Um, the recession is hitting women more than men. I mean, we certainly know that in the UK, and I think it's the same across Europe. So it's very important that the Women's Rights Committee discusses this matter. The rates of suicide increase during recession, and it's men by far that are affected most. While women dye their hair blonde, men simply die. Men already commit suicide at four times the rate of women. In particular, young men um, who the suicide rates have risen for, um, you know, sort of more significantly than you would have expected over the last 20 years. It's actually more than the last 20 years. The sustained increase in male suicides has been apparent since 1970, whereas female suicides have decreased over the same time. In harsh economies, men suffer more because of the additional burden that men have in supporting their families, a burden that women rarely have and that women are not expected to have. There's a perception of men as being stronger and more able to deal with things, whereas it's more natural for women to express their feelings and to be the ones that say, I can't cope, you know, I need help. Whereas in our society today, still very much there is this, you know, men are supposed to be the strong, silent ones who can cope and just carry on. And it's difficult to get beyond that, you know, and to perhaps say, no, I do need help, you know. But in news stories about suicide, the fact that men suffer more is ignored. The word men is simply not mentioned. When homelessness is discussed, all kinds of minor statistics may be analysed on the news, but never the most obvious fact that over 90% of the homeless are men. The biggest ever survey into homelessness in Britain published today shows as many as a quarter of rough sleepers are over 50. Many of them are parents, but three quarters of them have no next of kin. We've only got to look at all of our public services that absolutely fall over themselves um, you know with their, their equalities officers and their ethnic minority officers and all these people they always seem to put a little line around men and, and they for some reason are left out of it and I it's perverse. Male suicide figures in prison nationwide amounts to 97 percent of the total but when the BBC tells us about prison suicides women are actually the most affected. A higher proportion. So if you had a thousand men on a battlefield and two women, after the day's battle 400 men are killed and one woman. You can see the formula the BBC would use to report this. Of the 4,000 police officers that have been killed in the line of duty in the UK, 3,956 of them are men, 44 are women. 99% of deaths are police men, but in the media Police women are given the same prominence as men. Pictures of two women and two men are shown, as if the figures are somehow even, as if police women are in anything like as much danger as men. Fully half the story is about these 44 women out of 4,000 dead. The killings of these police men are hidden behind the word officer. The same thing happens with military service men, firemen and workmen. When they die on duty or at work, their sex is disguised behind gender-neutral descriptions which hide the fact that men are the most affected. This gender neutrality in job titles is not there to be fair to women, it's there to be unfair to men. You're not becoming a fireman. Firefighter, not fireman. Tell me something. Why don't they call you guys Officer uh, S's? I beg your pardon? You know, like uh, actress. I guess they feel that a police officer is a police officer. This has to be recognised as one of the triumphs of feminism, the near-complete media suppression of the fact that the overwhelming majority of tragic deaths in all professions are male. The author Noam Chomsky examined this phenomenon and described it as a concept of worthy and unworthy victims. Men are not worthy of sympathy, they're only worthy of blame. We often hear that women find pornography degrading, and that many women resent being depicted as sex objects by men. All of a sudden, the guy at the donut shop is totally hitting on me. It's like, now that I'm blonde, he assumes I'm easy. <laughs> 
sex toy? That's what the guy in the donut shop called me! <laughs> we won't go into what men should regard as sex objects if not women, but what's the image of men that we universally see depicted? I would say death objects. But I can't stand Curtis. I remember a soldier at Inkerman when a Cossack charged down on him. I saw a man raise his musket, fumble with his trigger, and then turn and run. The Cossack's lance went in at the back of his neck and came out in his throat. Best thing that could have happened to him. Men are casually and graphically killed on screen at an awesome rate. But when women are killed, it's typically off screen. You were warned, Lorraine. The money goes up to John. A man's life is so worthless, he commits suicide without hesitation. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Andrew Markinson, United States Marine Corps. And when he commits suicide, he still can't win. The real reason that Walt took the coward's way out was because he disgraced himself. When a woman commits suicide, does it even occur to us to think of her as a coward? Two recent major Hollywood films portray men who believe that they can do the most good for others by committing suicide. Men are graphically mutilated, beaten and tortured. But women are never shown to be tortured, and rarely shown to be injured. And women are never killed as a form of comedy. Marvin, what do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. Well, you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped... Oh, what the fuck's happening now? Oh, oh, man. Shit. Oh, man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. Yeah. Stick around. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. Ta -da! It's... Don't listen to yourself. The numbers are cursed. You know there is no such thing as a... All right, we're not going to take any more of this stuff than we need because nitroglycerin is extremely temperamental. So we... In film after film, we see how men are only worthwhile if they're protectors of women and unpaid bodyguards. They're only heroes if they risk life and limb to save others, particularly women. Thanks for saving me, tough guy. We even have a film that spells out men's worth as clear as day. 